question two is a units question from chapter, I guess, one. Okay. Frequency vibration mass m supported by a spring given uh, with a spring constant k is given by this equation. Where c is a constant with no units, what are the values of p and q? Oh, let's list out all the units we know first. Frequency, f. Well, we know it's hertz. But there's also another unit per second. Because hertz is per second. Right? So C has no units, so that's done. M is mass, so that's kg. K is spring constant, so that would be newton per meter. AKA, uh, newton can be broken down into kg meters, you no know, force times acceleration, so m less negative 2, or oh, m negative 1. Oh, so you just simplify, the m and m cancel out, it's just kg s negative 2. That will be your unit for k. Now let's put it all together. If this is a legit equation, the left-hand side unit should equal to the right-hand side unit. So let's compare the units. On the left-hand side, what do we have? Just s negative 1. Okay, so that's, that's just s negative 1 there. Uh, so let's just write that, s negative 1. On the right-hand side, what do we have? C is no units. M is kg. Oh, but to the power of p. K is kg s negative 2 to the power of q. Now we have to find out what is p, what is q. Stay calm, don't panic. Let's look through this step by step. Now on the left hand side, there's no kg, right? Oh, never mind. Let's simplify this a bit. So 1 over s equals to kg p kg q divide by Actually, let's put this whole thing down here. S 2Q. I'm just multiplying the in indices in a little bit. Okay, stay calm. Okay, so we notice that on the left-hand side, uh, sorry, this side, left-hand side, there is no kg. So somehow the kg cancel out. And we know this S here is power 1. So, you see the power 1 equals to 2Q. That means Q equals to half. So this comes from looking at the S on both sides. So here and here, and comparing them both. Okay, so I know already, oh, Q must be half. So let me check the answers. These two are in, these two are out. Pew, save for some time. Now what's left is kg. Notice there are no kg on this side, on the left-hand side. So that means the kg here must have cancelled each other out. What does that mean? That means... For kg, p plus q, their power must equal to 0. And we already know q is half, so p plus half equals to 0. Sorry, I'm kind of blocking it. <laughs> then p equals to negative half. There we go. So negative half, can see? Alright, so that will be on this side here. Now if you're not sure, you're kind of confused, sure, I can double check for you, so let's do some checking. What if kg is negative half times kg to the power of half? What do you get? Half and half. Zero. Oh, sorry, not zero. One, uh, kg to the power of zero, sorry. kg to the power of zero means just one. So kg disappears. So that's how you can check for units like this, either in paper 2 or paper 1, like that. Next question, find the next video.